Good evening, <clears throat> BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny trying to adjust this little tripod to uh, so I can look into you guys and say good evening. This is Johnny. It is a Wednesday evening here in West Michigan. It is 7.02 at night. It is September the 14th, 2022. It's, uh, it's a nice evening here in West Michigan. It's 76 degrees inside the house, outside, the su it's partly sunny. And I thought I'd just stop by and say hi. I mean, I don't really have any... I mean, I could show you thrift store books, book nook books, books I got in the mail. But I just thought I'd just show you what I read today and what I've been reading this week. I'm still reading uh, Last Times by Victor Surge. Uh, Lost Times, Victor Surge, epic novel of the fall of France in World War II is based on first-hand experience. The author was an eyewitness to the German occupation of Paris in June of 1940, joined the chaotic mess, mass exodus south the unoccupied zone on foot. He found himself trapped in Marseille under the Vichy government and participated in the early French resistance before escaping on the last ship to America in 1941. So I've been reading this. Uh, I've read about 130 pages. Really enjoying it. I've read other books by him. I've read his uh Memoirs of a Revolutionary and Notebooks, also published by the New York Review Books. I got this book in the mail. I showed you I was reading Mulligan Stew, and I put it aside to rest. But I had ordered this from Thrift Store Books, and I got it in the mail today. Gilbert Sertino, Sir The Abyss of Human Illusion. It's a used book. Um, I also ordered his essays by him, uh, literary essays on different writers. I got this in the mail today. I've just glanced at it. I've read about eight pages. Uh, yesterday, my wife wanted to go to thrift stores looking for a, a pie pan. Uh, she's gonna have our granddaughter, uh, Cora Lee, over. Um, was it today to make an apple pie and she wanted to have a pie pan so Cora Lee could take her pie that she helped Nani make to her house so my wife said let's go she wanted to go thrift stores looking for a pie pan and then we would look at used books I found this used book which I have but I wasn't sure I found this at Blue Stockings bookshop Jim Harrison's novellas The River Swimmer and the first novella is one I've been reading, which is called, I kind of like the title of it, The Land of Unlikeness. And I've been reading that since yesterday. I'm almost done with it. I got about maybe 10 pages left. Jim Harrison, as you know, I collect him. I, I collect his books and I got this one in the mail yesterday. Jim Harrison's The Search for the Genuine uh, his nonfiction from 1970 to 2016. Uh, he died in, he was born in 1937. He died in 2016. Was a writer and with the poet's economy of style, uh, praised as a national treasure, published in 27 languages. He's one of our, this country's most beloved and critically acclaimed authors. But I've been on BookTube going on six years, and I don't, I don't think I've seen only one person mention the novels of Jim Harrison. But uh, I started collecting him a number of years ago, and last year I read one of his earlier uh, novels. But he also is famous for Legends of the Fall, which was made into a movie. And so I've been reading this since yesterday. Uh, Jim Harrison, The Search for the Genuine, his nonfiction. 
Uh, I got two c CDs in the mail. Well, I've been, these are all been pre-ordered, but I got the new Built to Spill CD. Uh, when the Wind Forgets Your Name. I, I, I've been re listening to Built to Spill for a number of years. They're kind of an indie rock band. And I really like their music. And I got the new Afghan Wigs CD. Uh, Greg Doulis was also in the Twilight Singers and he did some solo record albums. He did an album with Mark Langdon who died recently. But this is the new Afghan Wigs CD, which is called... I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, let me see if it's on the light. It's called How Do You Burn? How Do You Burn? <laughs> it's kind of like, it's like blues rock. I've always been in Afghan wigs. I have all their CDs, all the Twi Twilight Singers, all the Greg Doulas. I really like the music. As far as uh, in my diary for September 2022, I ended today on page... 869 tomorrow is a Thursday it'll be the 15th and I'll be on 870 tomorrow morning if I don't die in my sleep or the world comes to an end and the Lord Jesus comes in the clouds of glory and ends this big messy world I finally finished uh, volume 2 of Dionysus the Carthusian's commentary in the Vedic Psalms. Uh, Friday I'll start this one on page, so it'll be Psalm, first I'll read introduction to part three and then the first Psalm is Psalm 52 uh, and I'll start that Friday Tomorrow morning, I'll be reading the Reformation Commentary in 2 Corinthians. I'm on chapter 9, verses nine, 6 through 15 of this commentary. And I've been reading along with it. This, comment, this is a more modern commentary by Mark Stedfrid. Second letter to the Corinthians, the Pillar of New Testament commentary. So I've been reading these along with the Reformation. I just, I get certain questions and I want to see what modern commentary says. So I, I got, I showed you all my Second Corinthians commentaries, but I just kept one up here. So I'll be starting uh, this Friday. Well, Friday I probably go to the book note. Friday it's hard to get into but I'll be reading this either Saturday or next week, getting into this, yeah, which is about, uh, about 560 pages. So that's what I'm reading. That's where I'm at in my diary. Tomorrow we go in the middle of the month and then I start the second folder. And that's what I'm doing here. I don't know. I I don't have... I have books coming the mail end of the month. I got books coming in December. I don't think I got any books coming in November. But I do have thrift store books that I got yesterday besides uh, the Jim Harris. I found a couple books. And I have books I got in the mail and some book nook, book nook books. I go to the book nook Friday from 10 to 1. I have books set aside there that I'll probably buy. So, yeah. So I'm hanging in there, you know. I have my ups and downs. I, I just keep praying, you know, Lord, give me grace. And uh, like I said, when I got 70 years old, I, life seemed so, so, so quickly over. I was reading, uh, I found out last Monday when I was at the book nook, someone came in and 
maybe it was last Friday, somebody came in and told me that the owner of a used bookstore in Grand Rapids was killed in a bicycle accident. And that really, sh that, and today I looked it up, the, the obituary, and yeah, he was, he, he, he ran a used bookstore. I used to go there when, when we were in Grand Rapids, we'd stop there and look at their books. Right next door is another used bookstore. And we would go in there. I've been going in there for almost 40 years. Where every time we lived here in Michigan, when we go to Grand Rapids, I would go there and look around if he was open. And I would see him at used book sales around here in Holland and Michigan and in Grand Rapids and other places. And yeah, he was out taking a break from running the store and he was riding his bike with a friend. And uh, an older woman ran into him as he was on his bike and killed him. And uh, so life is very short. Yeah. So, um, so I tell myself I gotta pray every day for salvation. Say, Lord, give me repentance. Give me true faith, a true, a true love for you. Uh, you know stay faithful to God's Word and seek to live a holy life and seek to live for God and not for myself and for this world. But so life is just like a vapor. You're here today and you're gone tomorrow. So that's what I'm reading. That's what's on my mind. I hope you're having a good reading week or had a good reading week. And hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the comments. And uh, I'll just sign off. And say until next time. I don't know. I I, I can make a video tonight because my wife is at, a, at, is at a Bible study. A women's Bible study. So it's kind of quiet. And I just thought I'd stop by and say hi. This is what I'm reading. Where I'm at in my diary. How I'm feeling. How I'm doing show my face and say hi and uh, and I'll just sign off until next time yeah I I am really enjoying reading Jim Harris Harrison reading him highly recommend his books his poetry I had I have his poetry down the lower level read Dionysian the Carthusian on the Psalms Read the Psalms in the Old Testament. Check out Built to Spill and the Afghan Wigs, the new records. Um, so I'm reading this tonight. And then I'm still reading before I go to bed. Down the lower level, I'm reading Beseda, the, poker, the Portuguese poet. His biography. I'm, I've read almost 550 pages of that. It's 900 pages, so I'm really enjoying it. So I read that at night after I write my composition notebooks down there. So I'll get into this this week and next week. This uh, The Abyss of the Human Illusion by Gilbert Serino. This was his last book that he wrote. He didn't even finish it. His son uh, finished it. So, until next time, bye.